So these are the components that come from the main um, main part of the tunneler. There is an additional uh, sort of carriage that you can add on, so I'll show you that in a moment. But this is the main piece um, which comes with the weapon attachments as well. And this is how it comes out of the pack. So you can see there's the body parts, there's the rear, there's these different parts for the front, including the weapon options and the drills. Um, there's also this sort of um, uh, cow sort of plow sort of thing at the front. The treads, of course, this thing that goes across the top, and the sides. Um, and there are different sides available depending on um, when you get the sort of extra compartment, which we'll show you in a bit as well, so you can change up and vary the, side, the shape of the, um, the pattern on the side of the uh, main carriage. So we're just going to dry fit this together and um, let's see how easy it goes together. Okay, so we'll take the two main compartments first off. They go together quite nicely. You can see again that as with Mantic's recent um, plastic releases, it's really quite good quality here. Um, I haven't cleaned this up at all, and obviously I'll wash it before I um, do it properly, but it's not that greasy at all to be honest. Um, so we're going to have that bit there. We'll take the rear and we'll put that on. So the rear has this sort of area here which is to take this top part, so we can put that on now as well. And you can hear nicely how it clicks in there and doesn't look like it falls out very easily. It won't take much to hold that in place. We'll then put the tracks on. Uh, now I think it should probably be that way if we're going forwards because they'll be angling downwards. Probably doesn't really matter that much to be honest. And you can see they're quite nice, they've got the bogies on them again. Um, quite nice tracks. Sits very easily on the table. Uh, we'll put the sides on now, even though it's a little bit early. And again, they're really nice, they don't come off that easily, even just by dry fitting. And you can, again, you can look at the detail on those quite well. So that's the main sort of compartment for sort of the troop carrying capacity that it has. Um, there is an extra bit here, so we now need to build up the front. We start with this piece, so that goes on here like that. And that pushes on pretty tight, that one actually. And again, you can see this pattern here. This is the start of the drill mechanism that you're going to see. There are these bits that go on underneath. These might fall off. I think these are, these are the bits that don't dry fit quite as well. So I'll just show you how they go on and then I'll probably take them off again. So they're going to sit underneath the main drill, which will go on here, of course. So I'll actually take those off because they will need some glue, those definitely. Right, um, so here we've got the main part of the drill mechanism. You can see I've already put these in. I haven't taken them off again because they're a little bit difficult to put in and out, but actually you can see there that it was really easy to put in. And they just sit inside here. You, you may want to glue these or you may want to leave them um, as they are because then they allow the front of the tunnel to be closed. I'll put that one on the wrong way around there. See if I can change it now. <laughs> And they allow the front of the tunneler to be closed if you want just a drill head or you can have the weapon options sitting in there. So there we go. So you can see that they're again they're quite easy really um, to put on. I've done it again, haven't I? <laughs> You've heard about me and magnets, I suspect, haven't you? It's the same principle. Alright. There we go, right, third time lucky. Right, so you can see that's with them all open. So you have to decide what you're going to do. But again, you don't necessarily have to have glued this together. So these are going to sit on with each of the drills on them. Um, but obviously you have these weapon options as well. So let's make it with just the drills first. So if you're just going to have the drills, you're going to have the compartment closed on the inside. So what you want to do then is have it like this. And then you're going to put this closed element in here so you can see again that this area this sort of like a camera uh, aperture is all closed and you're going to want your drills to sit basically in here and we're just pushing those in so that they can see now obviously these drills are a little bit heavy because um, they're a big chunk of plastic actually so again this won't fit necessarily perfectly together and you can see here there are two lugs that will just sit into these holes on here. 
and then we've pretty much got it. That is what our drill is going to look like with just the drills exposed. You can see it there from the side. I'm just holding it on because the weight of these will just draw it down a little bit. But you can see that it's pretty good. It's a nice, it's not huge. I mean, um, I'll put it next to, uh, I'll put it next to my phone. Other brands are available and you obviously you don't need to break the front of it. So you can see it's about the same size as an iPhone there. So um, it's certainly not huge, but it's a good size and um, it goes together very, very easily. Obviously, like I say, you'll have these bits in just underneath here. And you can if you wanted, you could have those open. But the reason to have them open is not to have the closed thing there necessarily, it's to have the gun. So let's have a look at what they look like. So again, we take that off, we just throw that aperture away. We change it for the open one. Which we'll just put on like that. And again, you just see it just pushes in. You can see now that it's open. The only difference here is you've got this lug here. So that is for your different weapon options to slide into. Let's try this one first. So this is the Super Ray Gun. Again, you can see it's really nice. And what you're going to do is you're going to put this in, same as we did before. Now it may be that there's a perfect way of doing this, and maybe I've not got it exactly facing the right direction. Um, let's just see. Oops. I think possibly the other way might be. Yeah, the other way is better because then you've got the two going either side of the base rather than straight down to the ground which is what you don't want. So that is, again this is just dry fitted so it would be very easy to do. You're going to have your weapon like that then, your, your tunnel one. Um, and then when you have it up you're going to have your gun pointing straight out at the enemy with the drill sort of uh, pulled back and the aperture open to allow the gun to then come forwards. Remember these still have a troop carrying capacity, yeah, they can take 10 models or two bases in Warpath. Um, and that's, um, that's that one. Uh, so we've got a chem sprayer now. Let's see if we can get the chem sprayer in without too much difficulty. So again, we just take that weapon out. Probably is easiest to do the weapon uh, and the aperture like this outside of the... Can we get that in there? Yes, we can. That wasn't as bad as it first looked. And then we've got the... Just clean up a bit of the uh, flash there. You've got the sprayer. Which looks like most of the other sprays, you know, it's got a large area, you can imagine that sort of spraying out chemicals. They're quite little things, aren't they, these, um, these vermin, really. And we'll pop that into there again. And again, we'll choose the best way around for it. Yep, that looks like it. Put that into there. And again, there we are. All seems to be in and correct. May have the gun slightly upside down, doesn't really matter to be honest at the moment. Um, but that looks like good. And then you can have it around the side there, like that. I don't think I probably have got the gun upside down, but either way we can change that very easily. But you can get a very good feeling for exactly what the, uh, the tunnel looks like in its full glory. Even though we haven't glued anything here, and it stays together again pretty well. I'm just going to keep that there, but if I take my hands away you can see that even without glue, it's um, it's fine. It's fine. Really nice. I really do like this model. It's very, very nice. A bit more compact than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer, to be honest. But you didn't really get the um, the scale on the images that came out during the Kickstarter, for instance. Um, as a piece of plastic uh, mold, it goes together really, really well. Um, and I think it'll paint out really, really nicely as well because it is like a big metal machine, essentially. So you want it nice and scratched and dirty. I think it's been tunneling through the earth, after all. These, I presume, are just to keep the the vehicle moving under the ground as well, like a, as it carves through the tunnel, it moves along at this end, but also at the bottom ends here. Um, really nice. So let's take a look at the extra compartment now. So here we have the components for the uh, tunnel compartment expansion. You can see again that we've got the tracks, we've got the body, we've got a connector piece that needs to connect it to the main 
uh, part of the tunneler. We've got another bit of these ridges across the back there. Um, and then we've got six panels this time. They've only got two sides, so these are to add a bit of variety for you. So these two are very are the same as on the um, main one I showed you a moment ago. And then you've got two different styles. It's just left and right for those. And therefore you can um, change up the design a little bit. Actually, these also fit on the main um, tunneler as well, so you can you don't have to have the same main compartment um, having the same sides on it. You can change them up if you want. So we'll do the same as we did before. We'll just try and put it together and see how it looks. So two sides fit together very nicely. Um, then we have to put on these sides. Let's go for let's go for these ones. See how to put those on there like that. This bit, I think, goes on here. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks like it goes on there. We have this bit again, which goes on here. So again, a nice ridge to it there. And the tracks, which again, we will put on the base. So they go on there. Probably should have put those on before putting this connector piece. But it still manages all right. And then push up edges, and that's it. So you will see that again; it's very sturdy. Doesn't seem to want to fall apart. We've got our connectors here to join onto the front compartment, and then oh, hang on, something's missing. So we're missing from the back of the uh, the tunnel extra compartment a rear, aren't we? There's no back on this because we've got the back from our previous one. So here is the back from the previous um, one I showed you. So we're just going to add that onto here, and there you go, done. So that's the rear of our, our actual um, the whole tunnel or the extra compartment. But we've got this extra piece here at the front as well. So let's see how that joins together. Here's our initial piece. I've taken the gun off for the moment. And this is where the rear was. I'm just going to see that should just fit into there. Wow, that really is very good, isn't it? Um, and let's just put one of our weapons on again. So we get it in its full glory. We'll keep it with a chemical sprayer that we had just a minute ago. Again, it's the weight is just holding off. But there we are, look at that. That's its full glory. So the main tunneler with the extra compartment. Again, I'll just use the phone to show you how big it is. So it's about half as big, two thirds as big again as it was before. So that's pretty nice, and you can see and see. I'm just supporting the weight here. Obviously, we're missing. I just haven't put the um, uh, the grill thing at the bottom there. On these, these would sit underneath here as well. I think you can say that that is a pretty nice piece of equipment, isn't it? I'm really impressed by that. Actually. So again, a really nice plastic uh, vehicle there, um, Mantic. You've done a really good job, and I think that will certainly be gracing a battlefield with my Veeamin very, very soon indeed. So, um, if you enjoyed this uh, video, we haven't done a um, a review before, but um, I think we'll do them again as they, as things come out. So, um, we're not going to review how it plays in game. We're just going to talk about the model itself. So, if you liked what we've done, then like, comment, subscribe, um, follow us on YouTube, listen to the podcast. And um, have a look on the like us on the uh, Wait Five Facebook page. So, thanks very much.